What up, gang? It's your resident icy scumbag H here, and I'm gonna commentate another ice climber set because it's all I really know. Uh, as I sit down, it's getting a nice wob. Great shine pressure from SB though. And I've got Amrak sitting down with me to discuss the Fox side. SB has such a nice mash, and that'll do it. Yeah. And he's done. There's a wobble. He, he got one at 8%, so that's the second wobble so far. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that's what happens. Yeah. See, but it, it's one of those things, like, you know, one second you're getting wobbled, the next second, like, an icy stock is just double deleted, right? Yeah, Cause I know. Like, when you're hitting... Like, when you're hitting Ice Climbers, they're, like, getting wobbled. Uh, there's not much they can really do. Yeah. Like, what do they come down with? Down air? <laughs> what do yeah. you do? Like, like, they use back air, right? Like, there's not a whole lot. And then, like, jab up smash so is so easy on, uh, on Popo. Yeah, it is. Right? Like, he lands in the perfect spot. Yeah. So, um... You make fun of me? That was actually a nice desync there. Why are you shaking your head? Is Ice Climbers? Brilliant up tilt into wobble. That's, like... Up tilting to wobble is not a real thing. It's not? It's it, not a real thing. You can smash the eye. Okay, but like... I catch everybody with that, and it's like, it's not a real thing. But if you don't smash the eye, it, it is a real, a real thing. thing. Okay. It is a real thing. But but what I mean is like, that's it's like, like down throw down air, right? Like, it's not a real thing, but it's I don't know. it's hard to react to, so it's kind of a yeah, real thing. Yeah, that's like saying drill grab isn't a real thing with Fox. Yeah, all you have to do is hold yellow stick yeah. away, and you, you should live. If you're a fast faller, floaties literally just hold up in a way. <laughs> Yeah, you just hold up and away, and it doesn't work, ever. It's just down throw downer does not work on floaties if you DI it properly. Foxy brow. But, uh, I mean, Chaucer's just got, like, I think he's just, he just knows what setups to use when. Uh, Fui, bro. Chaucer's really good at not using, like, you know when you watch Chudat play, and every time he just goes for, like, down throw downer? Yeah. Right? That's Chaucer's not, not that guy. Like, he definitely goes for... He always goes setups for all yeah. yeah, he goes for different things all the time, right? Yeah. He mixes that it up That seems well. stupid. I'm actually, like, upset. That was ridiculous. Why? Well, she was gone, dude. She was yeah. in the blast zone. That was pretty sick. And I mean, well, that's, the, that's the thing about Icy. Some people don't know. It's like, if Nana is above you, the distance your belay works is significantly reduced. Like, belay. it's barely very far. It's not far at all. Whereas if Nana's below you, it's so far. Like... <laughs> Which is strange they made it work that way because you would think that, like, you'd want to use it when you're below her. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Shine pressure is really great. Um, shine? That's a, good. yeah, no, that, but that's a really good, um, a great place to shine is during the uh, squall hammer because there's zero invincibility. And uh, yeah. if Nana gets shined out of it, or not even shined, like back air is even good if they're off stage because it puts Nana directly into tumble. Mm -hmm. So she'll just die. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Raw grab because he missed bases and dash attack. That was dash attack, correct? I think so. Yeah. Did you want to uh, update or something? He lives. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I like just like talking about like Icy's stuff because I think the character's super cool. Icy's it's cool. <laughs> so I, I like talking about it. It gets yeah. me excited. I I'm care like, about it. I don't know. I'd want to pick up Icy's if I. They're fun. Huh? Do I? I don't know. I don't know. I play my Icy against you. Yeah. And you need like everything. Okay. Let's play. SP should have noticed that um, Chaucer was definitely fishing for. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Fohiro was definitely fishing for jab grabs there, but he tried to challenge it by putting his own jabs out. I think a jump out or a shine might have uh, done him a little better. Misses the L cancel. Uh, the ice blocks is a great setup, and that's going to be a confirm on the ledge. If you get grabbed by the ice climbers near a ledge, it's 100% confirmed into a banana forward throw or a down throw. Or rather, Nana will always forward throw that ledge. So it's a confirmed handoff. Um, and that should be a quick shine. It gets stuck under the stage, and that'll do it. 2 0 from Hebrew so far. Um, I think Espy's really missing um, his Nana punishes. Ready? 
And uh, you can get a, a re-grab off that back throw if there's no DI, like how uh, SB had right there. It's incredibly fast, though. And that should be a confirm. He's just going to go for the forward smash because it'll kill regardless. Goes for a jab grab. Doesn't land it. You'll see when Nana's separated, Fohiro goes for a lot of jab grabs because he just wants to he wants to let Nana reset back to him. Great ledge hog from SB. Noticing that Nana's too far away to land on stage. Should be a clean up smash, that'll take the stock. Great stock from SB. Now, Invincible Ice Climbers is really scary, and what I don't like is when they're invincible, he hangs up by the ledge. Uh, I'd really like to see him can have, or SB have more center stage control. And that's a power shield into raw grab wobble. Easy setup. Easy stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Fohibro is he's noticing all the different setups. And great DI from SB, though. That'll be a dead Nana. Uh, the optimal thing to do, rather than that wobble down smash that uh, Fohibro did at the other side of the stage, is if you up throw and instantly input a forward smash by Nana, the opponent will fly backwards, and that's a lot more confirmed way to get a kill. Unless you want to wobble to 200. This air dodge gets punished with a down smash. Ice Climbers do have uh, some uh, tech chase shenanigans on Fast Fallers, so uh, we won't get to see it this stock though, but maybe Shoster will pull it out in the, uh, the next stock. See, hanging around by the edge against Fohibro is really, really sketchy. Uh, Shoster, Fohibro is definitely, he's controlling center stage a lot better than SB is, and it's exactly where he wants to be because having your opponent on the ledge means that it's a guaranteed uh, down throw into re-grab, so you can get a guaranteed wobble. And that'll do it for Anna. Up tilt into down smash. With no DI, that is a confirm. Spacing down tilts from uh, with Vox. Down smash, wave dash, forward smash. And he reads the forward, uh, reacts to the uh, upbeat. Great turnaround down smash. So if you'll notice, so he wrote, he, he smashes the stick in the other direction before he inputs the smash attack, and that's because uh, down smash comes out incredibly fast in the back hitbox before uh, before it comes out on the front. So you can punish people really quickly if you do a turnaround. Uh, this is a last stock situation. Uh, SP's really got to clean this up again. He's hanging out at the ledge, which I really don't agree with. Um, it gives it gives Fohibro a lot of guaranteed wobble setups rather than being at center stage where he can smash DI a lot of the, the setups that he would go for. Shine, and that'll do it. Now it's gonna have to, we're gonna have to play this an honest stock here. I think this will do it for this game. Uh, yeah, Eski's gonna hold ledge and Fohibro notices that uh, that'll do it. So it's 2-1. SB really cleaning it up at the end there. Uh, I'd still like to see him, especially on this stage, um, you know, don't be near ledge, and that's going to be a confirm. Now, he wasn't near ledge, so that is a 50-50. Uh, Nano will either up throw, back throw, forward throw, or down throw at that position, so um, it is RNG whether or not the, uh, the proper throw will come out, proper throw being a forward or a down throw. SB's just lasering and spacing. Wiggles out of that grab. Really good mash. No, Nana unfortunately rolls on, so he can't get a straightaway shine punish to, uh, to gimp her. Yeah, that's a raw grab. Blizzard, smash DI's it. Beautiful smash DI by SB to get out of that Blizzard. Uh, if you do not smash DI that, Blizzard does lead into a, uh, a wobble setup. F tilt, or up tilt into F tilt, into forward smash. 
Foe is uh, he's just really playing on point right now. All these jabs. Kind of looks like Espy's just playing, messing around at this point with all those jabs. Is, oh, Crouch cancels the up smash. <laughs> oh, he wrote even a little confused, like, what did I do there? Oh, these running shines. Perfect. Does get hit by the invincibility from Nana. She is a hitbox and 100% invulnerable while she's on the way up. During her descent, she is vulnerable, no longer invincible, and she's also in free fall. Now, I'm pretty sure forward smash is not techable. Down smash at ledge, you can tech. Uh, I don't think you can tech the forward smash, though. And that will probably do it. And at this point, Kohibro is just playing with his food. And that'll do it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, SP sees it's over, and uh, that'll do it. Clean stuff from Fohibro, definitely picking up a lot of combos, picking up a lot of handoffs. I'm not really sure uh, who's left in the bracket. Oh, okay. So we got Elliot and Unruly happening off stream right now. Um, not sure exactly. Oh, no, I don't think they are. What up? I have no clue if Elliot and Windrows are actually playing or not. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's just Unruly and uh, Elliot are the only two left in the bracket other than you and SB, I think. No, they uh, Elliot and Unruly just played, right? I, oh, did they? Fifth? Yeah, I think Elliot won. Elliot won. Oh, oh, they're, okay. going, they're going to play on stream. Oh, okay. Uh, Elliot and Windrose. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's go, Elliot. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't say the same. I've lost to uh, Unruly's fox like once or twice. I've lost to his fox a couple times. His peach is taking a couple sets off me. I don't think I've. There's. I've. Actually, no. I can't say I've never lost to Unreleased Peach. <laughs> I have in lost. recent times. I haven't played Abby in a while. I think last season we were like 9-1. I went Mewtwo today, so I didn't get to play anybody. Because I got whopped. No? <laughs> you go 0-2 or something? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, what? Yeah, I did Was today. it worth it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I find like... I like playing other characters, man. It's fun. It Mewtwo's is fun. Sick. And I like I was working. I did like a 14-hour day yesterday at work, and I like hardly slept. So I got here, and I'm like, man. Might as well. I don't want to mess around. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, I've just started messing around at the beginning of my brackets too. Yeah. I just play Fox or Falco. I need to play more high tiers. Like all the highest tier character I play is like Ices. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just play like. That's not even that high tier. No, it's not. And then I just play like can. Uh, and then I play uh, like Mewtwo and Kirby and stuff. Although That's I think cool. my Kirby is actually kind of legit. Like okay. Yeah, you 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 beat my Falco up pretty hard. My I think my Kirby's ago. actually okay. My Mewtwo's not good yet. <laughs> it's not yet. really not, not good yet. yet. I just need to practice double jump cancel because it's so unintuitive. Yeah, to every character. I've never like, been able to get used to that. No, it's hard. And uh, and dude, when you're playing SP, he's I was like sitting here. I'm like, man, SP just keeps sitting by the ledge, which is so <laughs> not a good idea. Uh, it's, it's so rough. It's a big big risk, big reward. Yeah. Well, because you kept punishing him so hard for being near the ledge. Like, you'd get a grab, yeah. and then you just hand him off. And I was like, man, if you just center stage or just play the platforms for, like, the invincibility, right? When you're invincible, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be near the ledge. I don't know. I don't it's, think. Playing SP again, we haven't played in, like, five months. And the last time we went to game five, and I can't tell if SP's gotten worse or if I've gotten better. You would definitely play I think clean. I've gotten better. You were playing pretty clean, to be honest. I, I just beat Moki, and now I'm like super confident against Fox. I didn't get to see whatever. that set. I have to watch that. It's a it's an all right set. <laughs> it's not it's not my best work, but it wasn't <laughs> Moki's best work either. Was that at Emerald City? Yeah, Emerald City. I didn't get to watch any of that. I was working. Mm. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Like I like watching tournaments live. Yeah, you know, it's it doesn't have the same effect. Vods are kind of like, eh. Yeah, it's like, and then you just skip through them, and yeah. it's, it's not, you know. Or I look, I'm like ten minutes set. I'm like, man, it's a two zero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you know. God damn it. But uh, Espy's, Espy's going Marth. Going Marth. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I was like, wait, I, I don't Marth? think he's confident in his box. 
I don't think so. It no. went. All the games were pretty close uh, when they played in winter semis. Okay. Actually, I would say uh, Ellie is worse against Mart than Fox. I would think so, because he does a lot of like. If especially with ice climbers and stuff, with characters like Marth, he likes to do the instant air dodge so you land on stage, yeah. right? Because he's just like, "Oh, you're gonna get me!" and then he'll just air dodge, <laughs> or he'll just. <laughs> when when was the last time Elliot like beat a, a good Marth? I don't even remember. He hasn't beaten Edge Luki yet. I mean, the only tournaments I really come to are here, and there's no Marths that really come here. Yeah, exactly. So it's like the only exper exposure he gets is like me and like Abby when he comes here, and. Uh, I think that's like the last two weeks I've been able to come and there's literally been nobody here, so I don't think he's. You know, yeah, today back. was actually a pretty good day. Yeah, it was. Compared to. That us. sad day I got to play yeah. here too. <laughs> <laughs> Is Marth actually like holding his own? Is though? Marth? Oh, well, man, I guess that was sick. That was actually. <laughs> that was sick. If he got the second tech. That would have been nutty. I guess you're not oh super God. duper old school. But, uh. Darian was like the Marth of BC. Oh yeah. For well, I guess Edge Luca was around too. He was like the second Marth of BC. Jeez. And then he switched to Fox, and the rest is history. Oh, now we got a Falcon coming out. Uh oh. <laughs> That's all I can say. Darian's Falco isn't the best. Or Falcon. I want to see Falco did was actually. Yeah. That'd be sick. Uh oh. Oh, okay, no, no JV, no JV, no. The one thing I'll say about Elliot is like, how I always beat him is it's just like once you get in his head, like, oh, it's pretty much over. That's the only thing. I that's just like, keeping Elliot I just back. mess with him all the time. Like, I'll be playing and like, uh, he gets really upset if I don't wobble him, which is kind of weird. <laughs> like, here, I'll do but... handoffs and stuff, and then he'll look at me and he'll be like, man, like, why do you have to be so disrespectful? And I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I'm not wobbling you, and you're mad. I don't understand. No, I've just come to always wobble him, no matter what, at yeah, this point. Yeah, because then he'll be, he gets, like, he's, like, happy. He's like, yes! <laughs> I'm like, okay, sure. No, at, there was one time I broke him so hard at, like, a UBC Weekly, I was wobbling, and, like, I knew he wishes I went back to hand doing handoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Handoffs are pretty busted too, to be honest. Mm. They're sick. I love handoffs. In certain, not busted in certain as scenarios. In like, not busted as in like OP, but like cool. Yeah. They're just like sick. Looking like a four stock. Yeah. Ooh, that was so sick. I. They're trying to get better at Icy's matchup. It sucks when they don't wobble. It just feels like pity. Actually, I think it's the opposite. I think you don't learn at all. That's why I don't wobble in friendlies. The other person doesn't learn at all. Yeah, no, because then it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, like you'll know, like, you know, like, if I get a grab and I do, like, a certain setup, you should just know, okay, I would have died here. And then you can just keep playing, and then you can address, like, what you did wrong. It's also, like, uh, you deny them the chance of learning, like, other kill setups. Uh, yeah. And learning how to get out of those. And those are more important than the wall here, at first. And then you kind of want to learn the wall stuff. I don't know. It's just... Uh... No? Okay. Uh... That was a bad laser. Yeah. Saving saving Darian. <laughs> oh, Miss Face is the F smash. And then there's another raw one. You play ultimate? Of course. Of nice. course. Well, we'll see how much... How good I get at it. I'll probably play it for like a solid six months. I feel like I'm gonna play it more than melee. I feel like everyone's gonna play ultimate more than melee. Yeah, I think enough. melee's gonna take a big, uh, a bit of a dip. Yeah, I don't know. I love melee. Yeah. My only, like, the only annoying thing for me is just like the the, the skill gap between like characters kind of mm. frustrates me. Whereas like, I don't like Smash Four really. Like. That Smash much, Force but, sucks. Like, there's, a lot more, there's a lot more like characters that are at least like not necessarily good, but like viable, mm -hmm. right? Whereas yeah. like in melee, it's like there's 56 boxes in the top 100, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you do? Sheik, uh, is Darian Sheik any good? Darian, Darian has so many characters. Darian's actually maybe other than Mojo, Mojo Monkey has like the most wide array of character spread. Uh, 
Darien's got like Falcon, Falco, Fox, Marth, Sheik. He has a pretty mean Mario too. I love Mario. Mario's, Mario's actually pretty fun. Mario's sick. Shoutouts to Plumbers. Shoutouts to Italy. Shoutouts. Yeah, shoutouts to Mustaches. Yeah, so. straight up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tafikins is the only one to get to it with that. Doing what? Forward smash. Forward smash. Um, <laughs> he doesn't even get away yeah, with it. No. I'm like, no, it's like the, one of the worst moves in the game. You can, you can literally get out of it halfway through the move. You just like hold up or away, and it's just like yeah. you're out. Or That's just it. crouch cancel it. It's it doesn't like work. crouch cancel level at like every percent. Just not a good move. No. Don't recommend using it in any scenario. And the one thing that frustrates me with Sheik is how like down smash looks like such a punishable move. But it's like kind of hard to punish it sometimes because of just like how it's how weird. the hitboxes yeah. come around. You're just like, oh, I can get him, and then you get hit. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. It is. It has got some weird hitboxes. Kind of sometimes it looks like you you got hit by it, but you, then you don't get hit by yeah. it. Yeah. It's like what? Okay, All I'll right. take it. I don't know, that I was smart. I, you know, I'm kind of divided on whether my opinion of Sheik is either overrated or perfectly where she should be on As the in, tier, like, list. tier list. Yeah. yeah. I think she kind of sits exactly where she should be. Yeah. But then again, I do think there's better characters. Yes. The, I think the reason that she's higher than certain characters is just because, like, Sheik invalidates so many low tiers. True, just yeah. Just because of chain grabs and, like, her hitboxes. Like, like characters like DK and stuff, right? Like, if you play oh, it's over. It's over. There's nothing you can do. Even when Luigi. I was playing Mewtwo, I played Evan in round one with Mewtwo. Like... He just grabs me up yeah, grab till up till or up I, air. It's like, what do you do, right? Like as a low tier, there's nothing you can do against. Sheik, I think really. the grab is her best move. Easy down throw, yeah. And especially like boost grab is nuts. Boost grab is nuts. It's nuts. Holy moly, it goes so far. I was actually playing against uh, last week. I was playing against somebody who was kind of like newer to melee, and he was playing Sheik, and he was like, "Man, I see all these Sheiks like they can tech chase <laughs> at high percent. How do they do it?" I'm like, "Well, you just like boost grab." And he's like, "What's that?" And then I showed him. He was like. Oh my god. You get like <laughs> so much better just he by- He was like, what is this? There's honestly so many niche little techniques that are super easy to do that just get you like so much better so oh, yeah. fast. Like jump cancel grab with certain characters. Oh my god. It's jump. so good. As soon as I learned jump cancel grab, I was so much better. <laughs> honestly, that's that's how I went from like, uh, like not ranked to number 11. And then I learned about boost grab, and I went to number one. Or no, not boost grab. Uh, jump cancel grab. Then I went to number one. Honestly, because it's, it's such like, a good, like, honestly, actually, it's the number one thing bad players don't do. Is jump cancel grab. Jump cancel grab. Dash grab can be canceled, like punished. Cause like, dash grab technically the grab comes out faster, mm -hmm. but it's not like. It's like two, it's not one worth. or two frame. It's not worth. Yeah, it. it's not worth because like it's regular grab is so fast. Like it's like poof, and then you can shield. Okay, it's a it's a faster grab, but it's more punishable. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, it's like if, it's you, not, if you dash grab, you might as well play it safe. If you miss a dash grab, you might as well just be going like, I am, hit me, please. Yeah. And so what? You, you lose like two frames or something, but the only move that can punish that is like shine. Yeah. Like maybe a couple other moves. Oh, we get the ditto. Sick. This is actually so sick. Uh, Darian this year decided, I, it might have been the beginning of the year, he's like, I'm going to go Falco. And so we got really, really good at Falco. And oh then my gosh. Uh, he still would have been like number three, still playing Falco. But, you know, it, it's not like he got better playing Falco. So he went back to playing Fox. Oh, yeah. And actually, he's beating Elliot right now. All right, Elliot. Oh, oh, no, See ya. No. Oh no. This is the, this is a scenario where like Elliot's just like, oh no. Yeah. This is where he starts crumbling. Oh, like just yeah. like that. And I honestly think Elliot's the better Falco. Yeah. Man, Shine Grab is so busted. busted. I hate Shine Grab. It's so dumb. The thing about Shine Grab is I always guess wrong. You know, you kind of yeah. got to guess with Shine Grab, unless like you're insanely like multi shining pressure and like you just know yeah. like they're still gonna shield and then you, then you Shine Grab. But yeah. 
It's ridiculous. I don't know. I think it's really good. Yeah, even if you hit the shine, what are they gonna do? And you Wait, can yeah. probably still get a follow up. Probably. Or Ellie gives, gives up. up. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. This, this is a position Ellie does not want to be in. No. No. It's all about mindset. And Elliot, when he's in a bad mindset, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Although, no matter what mindset he's in, he can always beat me on Yoshi's for some reason. <laughs> it's it's like kind of free though, because like you can kill True. Mana. It's literally he's zero. honestly the best person I've ever seen. Uh, get the shine kill off the top. Oh yeah, it's like almost every stock like he can get it. Literally every like, time. I'm like, it's like that's honestly the best thing he's best at overall in melee. Yeah. He even kills me off the top with it sometimes. I'm like, oh my so god. So Yeah, exactly. It's so dumb. And I'm Sick like, tech. Uh, you know, Falco's not very good against Ices, in my opinion. Not really. But that's that kill off the top uh, on Yoshi's is what keeps him relevant in the matchup. Yeah. <laughs> and Ellie's just exploiting that. All right, Ellie in the lead. This, this is so even. You know what this reminds me of? Classic blunted object versus Scion, where it was just so back and forth. Uh, Elliot blunted object playing green and uh, Darian playing neutral Scion. <laughs> I'm outside You're the here. venue. You gotta watch over there. I'm <laughs> outside the venue. I'm live. I'm reporting live. <laughs> The forecast in Richmond looking beautiful, looking good. A little chilly. Oh, uh, I actually love it. It's like perfect. Fall I know weather. it is. Now it's I can honestly, wear like my actual nice outfits. Like this weather and like spring weather, optimal. When it's not raining, it's good. Pretty much, yeah. Wait, why is he playing Falco? Is he trying to flex on him? Was he, uh, playing the he probably is. Uh, no, he played uh, Fox. No, Marth game one, Falcon game two. Oh, he's hitting him with the with the uh, potato. Yeah, <laughs> Sheet game three. And then Fox Falco, or just Falco. Wait, I just realized, no, Darren's gonna lose. Even though he's rotating characters. He beat him with Marth. He's gonna lose. If he stayed Marth, he probably would've won the set, but. Yeah. Too much Falco deal practice. I don't know, I, I do think it's still possible. Oh. Also, it's a little light on this monitor, which kinda sucks. But yeah, down air, yeah. Oh! That was, that was, That's I'm pretty sure that was Smash DI. I think, I think Darren accidentally Smash DI'd by, right once, and that's what made the difference there. Anyways. It's a little deceptive, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he's dead here. I, I can guarantee it. There. You know who's also sick at those techs? Dane. Dane gets them every time. Re they're really easy. I, they I, actually I, are. I literally did it. I I did it on my first try by accident, and then I realized what the inputs were, and I'm like, oh, mm. all you have to do is just like, if, I think if, if you have a good controller, if you just hold one direction, it'll cover the SDI in yeah. as well as the uh, wall jump tech. And then you just press side B when you're, you just react to it in side B. You pretty much should just always put the side B in because it's good. The next level I've, I've seen uh, SFAT doing now is uh, you tech it, you wall tech. Nice. That was sick. You uh, air dodge towards the stage. So like you wall jump tech and you air dodge so fast that you like wave land. Onto the onto I've the seen that. And I've seen still, that. That's insane. And you still, you still, eh, you are still invincible. That's like hacks enough. level before his hands good. broke. Yeah, that's that's good with that shit. All right, I gotta play Elliot. It's Simon. Classic. Nice. Let's go, Simon. Let's go. God, I am exhausted right now. I'm not gonna lie. 